During this morning's virtual public meeting, the Commission on Postmortem Examinations announced that Dr. Kenny Su will not be taking the position as Guam's chief medical examiner. Attorney General Levin Camacho stated there were various reasons as to why he declined. The justification Dr. Su gave for declining was um, he believed, and I think we all agree, that the medical examiner facility could use updating, but he didn't feel he was in a position to come in, um, and he also believe that the budget should be significantly higher, which we also agree with, but we're not at that point yet. However, the board has tapped another potential candidate they hope to fill the position. Dr. Jeffrey Nine is currently chief medical examiner in Arizona. Nine also has an extensive background in education. Most recently, he was a professor of pathology at the University of Pittsburgh School of Medicine. Camacho says that Nine is aware of the situation at the CME and that he actually seems excited about the challenge to elevate its current state. We talked about the possibility of handling the uh, autopsies for the hospital and instead of us paying GMH $100 through an MOU, GMH potentially paying the CME um, funds and generating funds in that way to perform autopsies for the hospital. Similarly to Sue, Nine was offered a base pay salary of $310,000, with the total package a little over $400,000. Additionally, NMI Attorney General Edward Manabusin remains committed to providing $50,000 toward the salaries and benefits, as Nine will also perform pathology services to the NMI. He will start in approximately 120 days if he accepts the offer. Reporting for Guam's News Network, I'm Tyler Matanani.